so guys welcome you all to this video here we will start uh, with few examples from where we left in the last video so few examples regarding countable set first example as we have already shown in the last video that set of all even integers that is 2z it is equivalent with the set of natural number so 2z it is countable set then set of all set of all rational numbers rational numbers that is q this is also example of countable set okay how i can give you here a little flavor so that you can relate the fact that how q is equivalent with n fine look at this q it is nothing but the union of q plus union q minus union singleton set zero that is the set of all positive rationals union set of all negative rational numbers union zero singleton set zero okay fine so all the positive rationals we can write all the positive rationals like this way that this representation style it is very you can say a special representation style and it is in fact a very beautiful uh, representation as well so just follow it one by one then two by one three by one four by one five by one six by one and so on then you have one by two two by two three by two four by two five by two six by two and so on then one by three two by three three by three four by three five by three six by three and so on thus in the very next step you have one by four two by four three by four four by four five by four six by four and so on it will go like this way and this set just observe it carefully that this set covers all the positive rationals that is all the positive rationals are included in this set fine now how we enumerate elements of this set that is the basic thing which we should investigate in fact that enumeration will lead us that q plus will be equivalent with natural number isn't it if we have such kind of enumeration that is one one on to correspondence if we can establish then we can say this q plus will be equivalent with n so what we actually do here is first of all it is a diagonal approach first diagonal this one and this element enumerate it like this way x1 okay for this second diagonal you have the elements 2 by 1 and 1 by 1 so enumerate it like this way x2 and this element as x3 now come to the third diagonal and enumerate it like x4 but here 2 by 2 means 1 and already 1 is there as x1 so in the set representation you are not allowed to repeat the terms so we just leave it 2 by 2 and enumerate this term as x5 correct in the very next diagonal you have this sort of thing and we enumerate it by x6 then this one x7 then this one x8 this one x9 so all the elements of q plus can be written as like this way x1 x2 x3 x4 so numbering we are generating a numbering here that is 1 2 3 4 and so on so this set it is equivalent with n correct 
thus q plus turns out to be countable set similar kind of approach is there for q minus and single down set it is a finite set so what we are getting countable set countable set and this is finite set union of countable set turns out to be countable set okay this is in fact a property which we are going to study in the subsequent part of this video as well okay thus we have q as a countable set correct okay so such kind of examples are there in your book go there and study few examples uh, when you study more and more examples, the concepts will get more clear to you okay in fact in the exam hall the questions regarding countability it is completely based on based on examples when we study few examples or the previous year question paper discussion then you will get the flavor that it is completely based on examples so try to study more and more examples regarding these concepts okay now i'm moving on to few you can say um, properties okay few properties so the first property it is let's move on to another sheet let me see what okay so the first property this is the first property it says that if if any finite number of finite number of elements elements are added added with a denumerable set denumerable set or any finite number of elements are removed from denumerable set then the resulting set resulting set still remains denumerable correct so the thing is basically suppose you have a set a it is denumerable set okay the elements are like you can say x y z a b c d um, then this sort of elements are there and it is your denumerable set so obviously enumeration is possible okay but what we have proposed here uh, that we are just eliminating two terms here z and a okay we're just removing these two terms still the resulting set become x y b c d and so on so the thing is that now this x it has a numbering 1 it has a numbering 2 b get the numbering 3 c it gets the numbering 4 gets the numbering 5 and so on so thus you have uh, 1 1 on 2 ness with the set of natural numbers okay still it remains a denumerable set okay it is a very straightforward property in fact <coughs> okay now the second property it says that subset subset of a countable countable set subset of a countable set is countable so when we say countable it means it has two things first one is the set may be finite or it may be denumerable 
correct so subset of a finite set is always going to be finite so it remains countable and subset of a denumerable set it again remain your countable because of that previous logic just you can take a part of your denumerable set and just enumerate it like your fashion okay so subset of a countable set is going to be countable look at for the case of denumerable here if you take a subset two cases possible either that subset be a finite if it is finite then it is going to be countable or if it is not finite then it's still going to be denumerable in either case it is going to be countable fine okay now in the third property it is very vital property it says that countable countable union of countable set is countable countable union of countable set is going to be countable so what actually it means it means two cases first one finite union it has actually two sub cases that is finite union of finite set finite set is finite second thing is second sub case finite union of denumerable set finite union of denumerable set is denumerable i think it is clear okay finite union of denumerable set is going to be denumerable third sub case of this scenario it is the finite case is gone now the third sub case it is denumerable denumerable union of finite set is either finite either finite or denumerable how we will illustrate all these sub cases one by one and the fourth sub case is denumerable union of denumerable set is denumerable so finally if we summarize all these four sub cases that is finite union of finite set is finite finite union of denumerable set is denumerable then denumerable union of finite set is either finite or denumerable and the fourth one denumerable union of denumerable set is going to be denumerable so if we summarize all this then we have countable union of countable set is going to be countable so now let's come to the illustration of first sub case so count it is finite union of finite set that is say i runs from 1 to k okay this is the thing this part it is finite union and each of this ai these are finite sets finite sets okay that means suppose a1 a1 contains n1 elements a2 contains n2 elements a3 contains n3 elements so on a k contains suppose n k elements okay 
this property says that a1 union a2 union a3 it will contain just use your common sense and give me the answer that a1 union a2 union a3 up to ak this union will contain at most how many elements at most n1 plus n2 plus nk elements because say some elements are common here a1 and a2 some elements are common between a1 and a2 some elements are common between a2 and a3 then this number reduces from this sum okay if suppose there is no common element between a1 a2 a3 and so on up to ak then this union will contain maximum n1 n2 plus n up to nk elements so whether it may be n1 plus n2 plus up to nk or less than of this number it still remains finite so this finite union is going to be finite okay thus we have the our first subcase okay now we are coming to the second subcase it says that finite union yes here we can do it it says that finite union of denumerable set is denumerable so the second subcase it says that finite union of denumerable set so you have this denumerable set like this way a11 a12 a13 that is there is a numbering a15 this is your a1 this is a2 a21 a22 a23 a24 a25 and so on a3 a31 a32 i am giving you this all this explanation just for your satisfaction okay and uh, you can relate this treatment hmm, in some problems as well which problem i will give all these things to you but uh, next element is 3 5 and so on up to this you have a k this property was finite union of denumerable set okay so a k 1 a k 2 a k 3 a k 4 a k 5 and so on so these are all denumerable sets okay and this is a finite union of these sets that is union a i i runs from 1 to k this is finite union of these sets these are all denumerable sets so what will be we have to look at okay so what we do in the very first step is take this diagonal no this is not the diagonal take this part okay and rename it like this way this is your x1 this is going to be your x2 this is going to be x3 this is going to be xk okay now come back here again and numbering it like xk plus 1 this is going to be x k plus 2 this is x k plus 3 and this is x k plus k that is x 2 k again come back here and number it like x k 2 k plus 1 and so on thus you have this union it is nothing but x 1 comma x2 comma x3 x4 and so on this collection and this is 
equivalent with set of natural number. So this denumerable set union of this denumerable set that is finite union of this denumerable set it turns out to be denumerable as well fine okay just think it okay now we are coming to the third sub case it says that denumerable union of finite sets that denumerable union of finite sets is going to be either finite or denumerable third third sub case denumerable union of finite set say our finite sets a1 a2 these are our finite sets if all of this element all of this sets say a n and going on like this way so we are actually interested to see this scenario i is equal to 1 to up to infinity here i i okay so this is the thing we are looking for where these a i's are finite okay if all of this l sets has the same element say 1 1 and going on like this way then this is nothing but 1 and it turns out to be obviously finite set there is nothing special but if a1 a2 a3 these are finite sets that means this set will have n1 number of elements this set will have n2 number of elements this set n3 number of elements correct this set will have say n n number of elements and going on like this way then what we actually do in this summation is we take all the elements and as there are finite number of elements so we can enumerate it like this way 1 2 3 4 up to like first x1 x2 xn first n elements we just rename it like this way first n one elements like this way then again we start enumeration like x n plus one for the elements of this set then x n plus two and so on and proceed like this way actually what we are doing here that one one on to correspondence with the set of natural number because one two three x three the next four so one two three four and going on like this way so it is equivalent with n correct thus we have basically this denumerable union of finite set is going to be either finite this is the case for finite or this is denumerable okay and now very last sub case it is denumerable union of denumerable set that is a i where i equals to 1 to infinity all the a i's are denumerable as well as the union it is also denumerable so what will be it is again denumerable and how so again this diagonal treatment we are going to apply here the denumerable set a11 a12 a13 and so on a2 it is a21 a22 a23 and so on a3 it is a31 a32 a33 these are all denumerable set and i'm just leaving it like this way so it is denumerable union and apply the diagonal and rename it x1 it is x2 it is your x3 then this is x4 this is x5 this is x6 so ultimately you are getting that ai it is nothing but x1 x2 x3 x4 and so on so this turns out to be again okay, a denumerable set so denumerable union of denumerable set is going to be denumerable fine so 
go to your textbook what i have already suggested to you read the things with few examples and then we are going to start few topics like what is interval and uh, uncountable set few examples of uncountable set and then we are going to start few questions in the upcoming next two or three videos in which we will deal with infinite cardinal number there you will meet with new number namely alif knot this is your alif knot this alif knot you will meet in the subsequent video when we solve few more questions and then cantor's continuum hypothesis will also come so all these things we are going to cover in the next two or three videos with previous year question paper okay so if you find it helpful share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you